It is with great pleasure that I send you greetings from Cape Town on this auspicious day, the anniversary of Guadeloupe's freedom from slavery. It is a day for reflection on the inhumanity of which our species is capable and for rededication to human rights and justice. A day of joy, but also of sadness as we consider those who remain in bondage around the world today. The most powerful tools at our disposal to combat injustice are not missiles or drones. They are knowledge and education. And the understanding that regardless of our physical features and cultural practices, we humans are made for each other. We are interdependent, sisters and brothers of one family, the human family, God's family. We are born for goodness and pre-programmed for love and generosity. When we swim together in pursuit of righteousness, we are unstoppable. I am therefore very proud to be associated with the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Foundation and its Human Rights Education Initiative Speak Truth to Power. Through teaching students around the world about human rights and the importance of abandoning the role of bystander when there is an injustice, we can erode prejudice, discrimination, and intolerance. We need to speak up, speak out, and speak truth to power. When Carrie Kennedy interviewed me for her book, Speak Truth to Power, she asked why I chose the path I did in joining the anti-apartheid struggle. I told her I had only done what I had to do. God took me, as they say, by the scruff of the neck. God doesn't say, ah, got you. No, God says, get up. God dusts us off and says, try again. God says, try again. So for the teachers, students, and parents, I have a special message. We need your help. We need your help to make sure that the stories in Speak Truth to Power are told in every classroom in Guadeloupe and the rest of France. To help equip every child with the skills to recognize their own power as citizens of the world, whether the tyrant they are facing is a schoolyard bully or a powerful dictator to contribute to ending injustice and healing our collective soul. Special thanks are due to the rector of Guadeloupe, Mr. Camille Galap, his executive and supervisory staff, and members of the inspection bodies for opening your schools to this event. Then you, Knowledges, and the Mirror School, and all my young sisters and brothers in Guadeloupe, as we celebrate casting off the shackles of slavery in Guadeloupe, let us join hands and become the links in an unbreakable chain of human rights and dignity stretching right around our world. God bless you all.